Republic Bank CPL action coming to you again from the Queen's Park Oval in downtown Trinidad. It's match number 20. The local team, the Trinbago Knight Riders, up against the Antigua and Barbuda Falcons here this evening. Time ago, the toss uh, was conducted out in the middle. It was Chris Green for the Falcons who won the toss. He elected to field first. As has been the case, only once in the tournament has the winning captain decided to bat first and team changes. For the Falcons, Brandon King is back. Hassan Khan, who is uh, an all-rounder, is back. And Joshua James back to bowl some seam for them. Chris Jordan and Joshua Little in for the Trinbago Knight Riders tonight. So they actually have a quota of four overseas players. They only played with two last night, the home side. And that is uh, Brian Lara Pavilion here at Queen's Park Cricket Club. Club was established in 1891, the ground in 1896. Alongside me, a man who knows a lot about it, Samuel Badri. A very good evening to you. Hello, Dooley. Hello, everyone. Yes, very hallowed grounds, this Queen's Park Oval. And so many iconic memories of West Indies cricket that have been played here. A couple coaches on the Falcons team, Kirtley Ambrose. Who could forget his heroics here, as well as Shivnar and Chandrapal, the head coach. Good start from Muhammad Amir. Don Ariel away over backward point. Good chase, but uh, to no avail. First boundary of the evening off the bat of Sunil Narayan. Bold Ab straight through, great response from Ahmed Amir. There's the end of Sunil Narayan and an early one for the Falcons. Yes, yeah, stumps everywhere. Exceptional retort from Mohamed Amir. Made the adjustment in line and in length. And that was all she wrote for Sunil Narayan. Four previously. Look at that. Anglin back in through the gate. Brilliant from Mohamed Amir. And that's where you want to be. You want to be on the stops. Early success for the Falcons. Narayan goes for four. Five for one. Lovely timing straight away from Puran. Picks up his first boundary and his first runs. Ends the first over, nine for one. Cut away, back with a point, too short and a little bit of width. He's into the attack and it's been whipped high, leg side, might be far enough. Republic Bank maximum. gone straight up green getting underneath it the captain takes it comfortably bounces back does springer and that's for the first time tonight we saw a boundary followed by a wicket we have a lot of dot deliveries he was three of 13 got a six and then trying to catch up so to speak he wasn't able to get the connection that he was after Relatively comfortable catch for Chris Green, and the second one goes. Both openers dismissed now. 29 for two. Yeah! Oh. 
Dear, looks like he may have hurt himself. Shamar Springer. Yeah, well, it felt like something was going to give. Casey Carty took a big swing at it, and Chris Green comes out on top. And that's the value of quality spin. Green was very good, particularly the last game with a four-wicket haul, and his ability to hit a length, to build pressure, build dot balls. And there is that turn that we were talking about a moment or two ago. Harris has struggled when the ball has deviated. Carty as well, 40 for three. Oh no, well that's got an edge, but it should fall into space. Oh, what a catch! What an outstanding grab! The Antigua and Barbuda Falcons have got their tails up. I think it's Hassan Khan. I think it's the former under-19 player for Pakistan back in 2016 and 2018. Left-arm finger spinner. He's captain that under-19 team in 2018. This is a good catch. It's an excellent breakthrough. He's beaten the pace. You can see how high on the splice of the bat it's hit. That's the sort of effort you want in the field. I wonder how far this goes to sort of shifting the balance of power. 42 for four now, TKR. Get! I didn't get all of it, but you land safely as a full maximum. Plenty of that, Tim David. Just sat back, it was into the surface. He's pummeled it over long on. That's over long on as well. A couple of the over now, Pollard this time. Timing through the offside, all the way along the ground for four. Starting to find his range, Tim David. Well, that's a big one. That's a huge one. Gone, six and out for Tim David. Mud Wazim takes the catch, Fabian Allen with the wicket. And that has broken what threatened to be a big partnership. By my count, I think that's the third Trimbago night riders batter who's hit the boundary and then been dismissed the next delivery. Onto the roof previously, a little bit wider, perhaps a touch slower. And a simple catch for Iman Wazim. This is a big strike. Remember what he did in the previous fixture in Antigua. Fabian Allen picked up three wickets then. And a good start for him here. David goes for 25, 82 for five. Yeah. God, is it? Yes. First ball. Timed it too well. And Joshua James, a waiter was left. Takes a terrific catch, back-to-back -back for Fabian Allen. Yeah, history repeating itself. This is exactly what he did a couple of weeks ago in Antigua, Fabian Allen. A wicked in one delivery, and then a spectacular catch in the next delivery to get rid of Nicholas Poor, and then Andre Russell now. Very good timing, but straight to the fielder. And a good grab in the end from the young to Begonia and Joshua James, and elation all around. And then all of a sudden, the Knight Rider is now in some trouble, 82 for six. Through him. Green is generally a very, very safe pair of hands, and he's very straight because it's Pollard. Hit the gap nicely, Shamar Springer searching for that Yorker. Flat and powerful. Just wonder what 
the thought process was from Amir to go to that delivery there at that time. And if it's straight enough and you miss your leg, that dominant bottom hand of Pollard takes that from off stump to deep square. Yeah, we've seen this before from Mohamed Amir when he was defending 18 in that final over against the Ghana Amazon Warriors. He wasn't certain as to what he wanted to do. Gets to the boundary by signal. Almost a pin perfect Yorker apart from the line. One, two, six for six. Not enough on it. Pollard's gone and Springer continues his excellent work with the ball across the season. And that's why I have identified him as of the uncapped players, the guy right now at the top of the tree. Yes, slower ball into the surface. The height is important. If it's lower than that, Pollard is able to control it and whack it wherever he wants. But because he gets it that high, it's a little bit more difficult to get optimum power. 47 from 37, one to eight for seven. He has a chance for wicket number 13 this season. Oh no! Oh no! Doesn't matter. Chris Jordan is run out. But they get a couple of runs. Sir Kirtley likes it. Green cannot believe he put that down. He's so safe, usually in the field. Yeah, high, really high. We talk about depth perception. Really difficult to judge the drop of the delivery confirmation of the run out at the striker's end. But a really good final over from Shamari Springer, just it. That's the batting for the Trinbago Knight Riders. 47 from Karen Pollard, a wonderful partnership with Tim David, who himself got to 25. In the top order again, not really firing. Puran, 14 from 17. 134 is what they managed. 60 dot balls, and I know there are mitigating factors tonight but good work by Mohammed Amir by Chris Green especially Shema Springer again outstanding bowling difficult overs a wicket for Joshua James that of Puran will please him greatly and Fabian Allen once again with wickets against TKR two for 13 the Falcons to try to get another win this season and do the double over TKR need 135 of their 20 overs. So King is back for the Falcons. Welcome him. And then Justin Greaves. Just right, right, just under 120, average of uh, 26 and change. Will be Akil Hossein. In a role he has become accustomed to. All right, first ball of the chase. Oh, and turned <laughs> straight away. Salam Kiel, I think that is at backward square. Not the tallest of men, but he had to use all his reach. Grabbed it high away to his left, and an early one for TKR. And just listen to the crowd. They have been enlivened with this wicket. A couple spun past the outside edge, looking to do something differently. 
Brandon King. They have El Dorado celebration from Aki Lucene. Wonderful start for the Night Riders. King goes without scoring. None for one. There's that arm ball. It's been driven beautifully. Down through long on for four. Another one for Selim Keel, straight up, underneath it. Oh, my goodness! Spilt it. It was easier than the first. Akil Hussain cannot believe it. Gets a life, one over done. Five for one. Boldham gets the Yorker through. Brilliant from Dre Russ. Rapturous ovation from those in here at the Queen's Park Oval. Short delivery followed by the fast Yorker. And if he's performing like this, then why not continue? Up with the pace, the variations, he's striking the ball well. In his 100th CPL match, Dre Ross is delivering cross-seam delivery and too good for Kofi James couldn't get the bat down in time and it's another Falcon who has to take flight James goes for 10 and it's 15 for 2 that's a good shot really well played one bounce for Good use of the feet. Well, that's a lovely one. Full contact, high and handsome over mid-wicket for six. A Republic Bank maximum. First of this at Antigua and Barbuda Falcons innings. You're off the bat of Hassan, a former Pakistan under-19 World Cup player. Wow, launched. Beautiful stuff. That goes all the way. Six more. Good striking now from Hassan Khan. A couple of first class 50s, multiple half centuries in Listy cricket. Once again. Don't bowl it there to me. Well, he's been given an opportunity, this young man, this evening, and he's grabbing it with both hands. He took a six off the Rhine in the previous over, now back to back. Crunches. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. All along the ground for four. And there it is, that's the 50 partnership. It's a great shot. Well controlled from Hassan for four more. Oh, he's gone. Perhaps the case of the commentator's curse, but he's stumped. Hassan Khan has been a good innings for him, but he's got to go. Good length from the Ryan. It almost premeditated from Hassan Khan, but he's done a good job, actually. He's done a good job, 36 from 20, strike rate of 180. He's come early. He left home base very early. Whether the right saw that and dropped it in a little bit shorter, only he will know. It's a good breakthrough, but it's a good knock from Hassan Khan, 68 for three. That might help. I think it's going to find the gap. One bounce for four. Pick the gap nicely. It's been hammered away into the gap leg side. Just short enough to pounce on. Nice strike. 
And of course, Iman, we've seen his batting prowess early in the season. We saw it last year when he was tremendous with bat and ball. 100 is up. You just sense that this is what they were waiting for, the reintroduction of the faster bowlers. They were quite patient against the spinners. That's carted over the boundary. What's the height on it? What's the height? Yeah, that's legal. That's good. He'll get six. Oh, Justin Graves being retired out. Not by Chris Jordan. Yes, they go for it. And they get there. It's a deflection. Deflection. Will it reach the boundary? It'll count, you know. It does count. Inadvertent from Imad Wazim of the Chris Jordan throw. And it has to be given to so the rub of a lot of things. <laughs> That will mean just two more to win for the Antigua and Barbuda Falcons. They've been close on a couple of occasions, put themselves in good situations on another two occasions and not been able to cross the line. Two away from their third win to keep hopes alive. And Fabian Allen off his bat after a solid bowling performance not just the winning run for the antigua and Barbuda falcons in a game that had some twists and turns but it's been excellent from the falcons in that they've done the double over trimbago night riders this season defeating them in, at home in antigua and now defeating tkr at their home at the Queen's Park Oval in Port of Spain, Trinidad, by six wickets to move to six points on the table. It's been a little bit feisty at times, but Chris Green will take this after some close run-ins. Yeah, nice to see the sportsmanship here at the very end. So the Knight Riders go down once again for the second time this season to the Falcons, 134 for eight. And the Falcons getting home by six wickets with Graves 46, Hassan 36, and Imad Wazim 36 not out.